First of all, I'd like to welcome everybody back to this year and welcome Mr. Lane back to the board and Mr. Eric to the board for the first time. Um, a few things that have been going on. Let me see. What, what's happened recently? <laughs> I would like to uh, have Mr. Fridley come in and talk a little bit. Mason couldn't be here today and Mr. Huffman is working off-site at, at a location today. He couldn't be here. But I am able to have uh, Mr. Fridley and, and Ryan here to, to talk a little bit to you about their experience with the National Skills USA. Uh, we're proud of our two instructors, Mr. Fridley, one of them, for everything they did with their students and the efforts the students gave. And we're proud of Ryan for his big accomplishment, too. Uh, so if we can start with Mr. Fridley. You want to come up here? Sure. Come on. <coughs> How y'all doing today? Good. All right, you're going to, have to excuse me a little bit because I got, I think I caught a little vertigo. I can't, I'm kind of dizzy, you know, from something I must have did. But anyway, um, what a great week it was. Um, when we first got down there and I saw the building that this thing was being held in, it was just, it just blew my mind. I didn't think it made a building that big. Um, but going in and you know taking Mason and with Ryan being there and Jamie being there, it was um, beyond something I I just couldn't believe how well it was really handled and what was going on in this place. Kids everywhere and all these projects and stuff like that was going on. It was just really amazing. Um, I took a lot from it. Um, you know, just being here for about four or five years and, and working with the kids in here and doing, you know, you do your uh, region, then you do your states, but when you get there, it's the best among the best. And, you know, like for Mason, when, when he got there, there was 50 Masons. And um, being with him, he handled himself just really, 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 really well. He got a little nervous, which I would have got nervous being on a big stage like that. Um, but I mean, for him to hang around him and uh, get to know these kids, even you know, even out of school, uh, was pretty awesome. Uh, he performed well. He did the best he could do, and uh, even though he didn't uh, finish or win it, but he handled himself very professional. Um, as a teacher. Um, I learned a lot of things that I could be doing that will make my class better or I can do better with my kids. Um, but it was just a moment of, especially when they called welding up and when, you know, I was sitting beside Jamie and uh, Mason was beside me and Ryan was on the other side of Mason. And anyway, they called the first name up third place, and I and I happened to look out of the corner of my eye, and I saw Jamie just kind of shake his head a little bit because he thought he could, you know, finish top three or top five. And then the second name was called, and uh, when the second name was called, I just looked over at him and didn't say anything. And when that third name got called in his name, I swear he jumped that off. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing: it put chills down my arms. I mean, that's just—I mean, it was just a time. To see Mr. Hoffman, he is that good. I'm gonna tell you what, he don't show a lot of emotion. I probably show too much. But I'm gonna tell you what, he knows what it takes to prepare a kid for something like that. And to watch him that, that whole week, and to be around and just listen to the, some of the things he was saying, I mean, you know, I, I hold him to the highest regard. Because I'm gonna tell you what, the time he put in, it ain't it ain't the time just to put time in. He works with his kids. I mean, he put the time in, and it was just it was an amazing time for me. And by going there and learning a lot and hanging around these kids, and, and we had a blast. It wasn't you know when we were out of there, things. I mean, we had fun. We looked, we went to places and uh, done some things, but uh, you know for me to be able to see this it was truly another adventure for me 
stuff because I'm getting to the age now, you know, these ventures kind of hard on old men like me, but that was a whole lot of fun. It was a whole lot of fun. Then when you get to see him down there, and all of a sudden he comes there, and you don't know where he's at, he just shows up. And you know, it, is, it, it, was, it was pretty amazing. So, uh, uh, but thank, thank y'all for allowing me to do what I did uh, with these kids because it is, you know, it certainly is a lot of fun. So, any questions? We gotta get you that that saw stop table saw now. Oh yeah, yeah. We did see some tools down there. That was pretty cool. So, but uh, I saw a lot of that stuff, and I've even got online and started looking at some of that stuff. But you know, and I and and we'll go back, and I don't want to hold the meeting up too long. But I got to talking to different people down there that had kids down there, you know, from a small area like that we're in. I talked to one guy. That, and Mason was in cabinet making. And I talked to one guy and he told me that around his area where he's from, there's 30 different companies, cabinet making companies, and he sends five or six kids' kids doing summers to work there and do that. Kind of stuff. I mean, that's the competition that we're looking at when we go down there. And, you know, and I've talked to different ones and, and some of these guys got these machines that I just like, Wow, how do you get stuff like? But then they tell me where they're from, and then I understand, you know, what they got. But you know, more of a lot of them are more into the cabinet making, and where I'm in the carpentry. But you know what? If my kids want to make cabinets, by God, we're gonna make cabinets. If they love to do it, then we're gonna do it. If they want to do carpentry, we're gonna do it. But I'm just telling you, it was an experience of a lifetime for me. So thank y'all um, for supporting us, and it was awesome. And if, if you didn't uh, catch the gist there, when he was talking about the third name call, that was the number one name in the yeah. nation for welding. Yeah. So Ryan, you want to come on up here? And I don't know you follow that. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I got thirty questions. You, so you 30? get on up there. <laughs> just uh, just talk to him a little bit about your you know, your experience. So with a teacher like Huffman, he pushes you really hard, and uh, and I have to be thankful for that. Because if he didn't, then me not showing up on some days, it probably would have happened. It probably would have been a, a, an occurrence more. And so I really thank him for that and pushing me every day in the classroom. And he just really does a lot for his students. Well, like, it doesn't matter what they're going to do after school. I really push you to really reach your full potential. And uh, while we was there, it's not like when we got there, he was done. We kept on working. We was up till 9.30 in the parking lot, brushing aluminum to figure out what we was going to do with the competition. And when I went into the hotel, he gave, he gave me the packet of blueprints to look over until I fell asleep. <laughs> and it, he made me send him a picture of me with the blueprints covered up in the bed with a pillow. <laughs> That's good. Um, and I also had to thank Fridley for knocking on my door in the mornings. <laughs> that was enjoyable though. Was it? Yeah. It, you know, you're better than my alarm. You want to come to my house and knock on the door? Depends. You got somewhere you need to be? Sure. All right. 30. Five o'clock, I'm out, I'm game. <laughs> and uh, the building while I was there, Huffman, it was good that he didn't do this because like during the competition you can look out and see everybody watching the competition. And he didn't watch. And I, I was kind of confused because I didn't see him. But I also thought, man, they'll put a lot of pressure on me if I looked there when I saw him standing over there watching me. You know, and that's that's the reason why he doesn't do it. So he went over there and he went over to the virtual welder. It's a little game. He didn't want a welding skill, he flip flops. That's what he's doing the whole time. Do you tell me he was winning his own competition? Yeah, he going was. He said, he said if I wasn't going to win, he was. Anybody have any questions for Ryan or? Any? I don't know what you felt like when they announced your name. Oh, I was jumping out of my chair. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Huffman, I think he would have hired me. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he worked, he worked pretty hard. We both worked really hard for it. Your project. Uh, I have him in the bed of the truck if you want to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll bring him in after this. Thanks. Once you know, right after you won, I got a call from Mr. Wright, and it was like winning the NCAA basketball championship, and I'm sure he was jumping off the size you guys were. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe since some inappropriate texts and things. <laughs> I couldn't, I, I was shaking so bad, I couldn't do anything. But. <laughs> Um, I was sitting in an area where I wasn't supposed to be talking or <coughs> cheering for people because I was sitting in a legal seat that I was supposed to be reserved for a judge and Ryan walked down where to the front and, and I was cheering and screaming and, and they were all looking at me like this guy's not supposed to be here <laughs> but I could see the look on Ryan's face it was it was pretty amazing any more questions so Ryan what would you share with upcoming students as far as your preparation, things like that? What, what would you tell someone coming up? If, if, there's, if they still have Hoffman as a teacher, I would just say show up every day, every second you can. You do the best you can. Don't play around in the bathroom or do any of that. Just stay in that booth and keep on moving. Yeah, good advice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Truly outstanding accomplishment. You really need to be proud of yourself and all the work you put into it as well. And uh, we appreciate everything you did. Appreciate you coming out and talking to us today as well. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Yeah.